Last episode, we met personal trainer Mike D'Angelo and his three newest clients, Scott, Shane, and Nicole. For different reasons, they're all in need of a fitness makeover. Let's see if they're making any progress. Oh, yeah, now we're talking, kids. Keep going, Shane. Stretch it out. Work that oh, core. Jesus. Yeah, baby. Chin up, chest up. Oh, it's working my ab. Ooh. Oh my god. Oh yeah. Halfway there. Oh, yeah. I'm doing well on the weight loss side. I've lost uh, about nine pounds so far, which on the surface would be good, but my problem wasn't necessarily weight. Scott doesn't have too much fat to lose, although he will lose some. I'm more concerned about Scott gaining muscle. With Mike training us the last couple of weeks, I feel more energetic. I feel lighter. Ugh. and less bloated, as disgusting as that sounds. A little deeper. Nicole has some fat to lose. She's gonna lose at least half of her fat to get her where she needs to be for her wedding. Mike's got me personally doing more weightlifting since I've been in the gym before. It's a little different workout than Scott and Nicole's. But um, down six pounds in the first two weeks this Friday, so almost 10 days. Shane has some fat to lose. So his diet is going to be way more important than Scott's. And looking at that data on a computer screen with your client right next to you going, hey, this is where things are at and this is what we got to do. You're starting the educational process with the client. They're starting to understand things differently. You're opening up a whole new paradigm of thinking for them because if you remove the drama and you just stick with the facts, present it on a program that is backed up scientifically, it's irrefutable, you can't argue with facts. Another fact the team is quickly discovering, their performance in the gym is only part of the equation. I think Shane will follow the regimen pretty well, but uh, when he's not in the office, who knows what goes on. He's a cheater. The diet is the thing that's killing me because I love food. I love ice cream and I love junk food and burgers and everything else that you can't have. You know, Mike can give you the training and Mike can show you the PT Pro, but the diet thing's all you. You gotta do all that on your own. Shane and I play on the same men's league hockey team and having a couple beers with the guys, down in some pizzas, those are just things we like to do. And I'd say the Achilles heel right now is, is booze for everybody. How many glasses of wine did you have? Too many. Really? Two glasses, too many. So that's about 300 calories. The consequences are if they don't stick with their diet, they're not going to be where they want to be. So it's my job to make sure they stay motivated and you know, you follow the dots, you do these certain things and it's going to happen. They're human beings and all human beings respond pretty similarly when it comes to exercise and eating clean and doing cardio. And the thing is, is once they start losing and they start seeing progress, they'll keep it rolling because they'll be so psyched. They don't want to sabotage what they've been working towards. Don't miss episode three when we find out if Mike will finally let Scott lift some actual weights. Scott seems to be doing a lot of stretching right now to get in shape, which is a little bizarre, but... <laughs> is Nicole making progress? I don't think she's gonna be ready for the wedding. Nice. I like it. Dad. And will Shane ever stop complaining? Take it, take it, go! My ab hurts, my ab hurts, I'm gonna die.